117th number of Psalms. And it reads, O oh, praise the Lord, all ye nations. Praise Him, all ye people. For His merciful kindness is great toward us, and the truth of the Lord endureth forever. Praise ye the Lord.
without you, we can do nothing, we can have nothing, and we can be nothing. But all our Father, thank you for another opportunity to shine and stand and proclaim your word one more day. Father God, it is your time. I ask in the name of Jesus that you would hide me behind the cross, that more of you will be seen and less of me. Dear the God, I ask in the name of Jesus that you would open the hearts and minds of your people up. Come us to receive your word. Not my will, but let God hold me. Christ, he healed every kind 
of disease. He cast out demons. Delivered people from Satan's grip. He even raised people from the dead. His ministry was spectacular. Hello, somebody. Amen. In Jesus' day, uh, people needed to know that there is hope. We're living in a time, my brothers and sisters in Christ, can I take the time? Uh, in a time of COVID-19. In a time of the Delta variants and other variants. That we are living in a time when people need to know that there is hope. We're living in the midst of a desperate hour. Uh, when, when, when people are still robbed, when people are still killing one another. We're living in a time where people are falling away from the church. Somebody say, well, I don't want to be around crowd. Can I preach the album? Wednesday night Bible class is no crowd, just down in here. Preach on us. We're living in a time when hope in our world does not come from the cold house, the state house, or the white house, or the hound house. Hope is not found in a bar. A roll of paper or a leaf. Hope is not found in religion either. Philosophy of social change. Hope, can I preach to y'all? Is not found in sex, money, or power. Hope is only found in one place. Hope, preach boy, is found in the message of Jesus. The message he preached. Hope has been handed down to your disciple. Hope is found in the message that is still preached for the church today. Amen. What is that message? I'm glad you asked. It can be found. Can I take my time? In John 3.16. For God so loved the world in that hope that he gave his only begotten son. And whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. It can be found in Matthew 11 and 28. Come unto me, all ye that labor, let me preach, and are heavy laden, and I will give you your rest. Is that all right? It can be found in John 7 and 37. If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. The Bible says, are right there in the text. The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent, uh -huh, ye, and believe the gospel. Repent, uh, ye, and believe the gospel is true faith. In other words, repent means to think is to change one mind. The Bible repentance means a change of mind that results in a change of action. A lot of folks change their mind, but the action is still going the same way. Repentance means, I'm going to take my time here, a change of mind that results in a change of action. Is that all right? Repentance, preach boy, is not a feeling sorry for your sin. Repentance is not uh, turning over a new leaf. Repentance is a change of mind. When a person repents of their sin, they change their mind regarding the nature of sin. Sin, preach boy, is no longer something that you be desire. Sin, oh Lord, uh, is seen as an ill reality is dark, dangerous, and offensive to God. Uh -huh. He said right here in the Bible, the time, I'm going to finish in a minute, the ills fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Well, the kingdom of God. Uh -huh, the gospel declared that the kingdom of God 
20 and 21, when he was demanded of the Pharisee, when the kingdom of God should come, uh, he answered them and said, The kingdom of God cometh not with observation, neither shall they say, Lo here or lo there, for the kingdom of God is within you. What I'm saying is that uh, within you, if so, the kingdom is to be looked within the heart and the lives of people. The kingdom of God is spiritual. It's the changing of heart, the rule and reign of God within men and women's lives. Whenever and wherever people confess Christ as Lord and call his name, that's where the kingdom of God is. When I'm about to finish here, the Holy Spirit takes charge of people's lives. That's where the kingdom of God is. When people bear their old grudges, whenever people forgive each other, that's we live in peace with one another. That's where the kingdom of God heals. I heard one songwriter says, "Right."
do it the church is over. We have to be warned. If you don't know the kid, know the kid. Yeah, I ain't cheap, D-O-M. Take the D-O-M. Hallelujah. 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 Do it the church is over. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, sir.
would have told.